All right. All right. All right. So, perfect way to start. Didn't have my mic on to start. So, what we're going to start with today is we're going to start working on. We got to light this area up a lot. A lot. Um, we're going to start working on the walls of the mob farm. <clears throat> And I was thinking about, well, maybe we could go start a gold farm, but it's like, we already decided we're working on the walls of this thing. Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to balance stone bricks, dark wood, stuff like that. Because we're going to have a lot of white all the way around that. So we're going to need something that's a bit on the darker scale. Hey there, juice, juicity, <laughs> I would say. That's what I'm going to go with. Guy City? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going today? <laughs> but yeah. It, it's going to be an interesting build, to say the least. I, I got some things that I think might work. Uh, we're going to try some of the brown terracotta. And just, we're, we're going to try stuff out. Uh, I speak English. I am I am English speaking. English. Yeah. So we're 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 gonna just try it out, see how it works, and go from there. So. Mm. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, so we're just going to go with that. See how that works. Oh, Illuminati, that is so awesome. What did you apply for? I'm, I'm genuinely interested. Because that... that <laughs> getting into the workforce is an amazing thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Great to see you too, by the way, Illuminati. Um, yeah, we're working on the mob farm. Uh, what do I all want? What do I all want? Um... We're, we're trying to build up the walls, and we need to do something that's on the darker side and has, it'll stand out. So, like, we could do all stone brick, but that's going to get boring. <laughs> yeah, I would say that would be awesome. <laughs> I'd love to work with kids, but I don't think daycare is really for me. But, yeah, that's awesome. I hope you get it, because I think that would be awesome. And <laughs> teaching young minds is a good profession to be in. And taking care of young minds is a good profession to be in. So we got to have some sort of grand entrance right here. I need my wood. <laughs> um, At the time, I'm not really speaking any other languages. I'm not focusing on that i'm too busy in my life to learn other languages right now but yeah no not right now <laughs> specify specify that uh, it's not a lot of that um so we'll, we'll try it uh but yeah so we'll try the dark oak. That might be too dark, and I don't think it'll be, it'll pop enough like the spruce does. But because I want to go big on the entrance, like if we don't, if we go big on the entr entrance, it's only gonna help, 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 help. But yeah, <laughs> it, it's gonna make the build a lot more. Okay, okay, my brain's just messing with me. <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure. If they're busy, it's all right. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. 
Um, so I think this should be set up where this road is almost. Yep. So we are at the center here. Uh, one, two, three. It stinks. The pillar is gonna block it a bit, but it's gonna be. It's gonna have to be that way. Uh, da da da. Four. Let's go five up for there. Now the entrance is gonna seem tiny compared to what what the build is, but it's like at the same time, like that's gonna be our entrance. And if we go back, there is a sense that we need to make it realistic for what we are in scale, so it's, we can't go too overboard. Otherwise, it's just a giant hole. But I, I like the spruce for that. Is this something that's really going to be more noticeable on the inside than it is the outside? So there is that aspect of it. But essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to go down. Now, the reason I want to go down is so that we have more space to play with overhead. Because I want to take this all, this stuff, and essentially cover it up. Like, I want to have it where the roof is level one way, and we're able to cover up all the hoppers. It's like, yeah, exposed redstone is something interesting, but in reality, it's just a bunch of hoppers. So it's really not that interesting. So I think we'll go about that on that. And now we're just, it's going to be, this is going to be a very flat building. So we're going to need to really work in a design that works because the walls are going to be flat because they really can't move much because of our pillars. Like overall, this is going to be flat, but the build's not going to be flat because of everything coming out. So we needed to work that way. And we also want it to look good from the standpoint of it's going to be flat. So I think we're going to go base pretty simple. Because these are our inner walls up right here. So the base is going to be pretty simple. We're going to go with the uh, stone bricks there on the first level. And we do want to make it a bit more ornate. If I'm using that word correctly, where it does look a little bit more on the pretty side, but we also need it to be able to stand out from beyond behind the pillars like we need it to suck light in and draw people into the build like it's one thing if the pillars stand out and they're really bright but if you get those nice beautiful dark shadows in there it's really going to bring the build together and almost have sort of that shadow effect even though we have because something this big, like, it's going to cast a shadow underneath. You're going to have shadows, but with this being Minecraft, we got to light everything up. So we almost have to form these fake shadows. So what I, what I want to do is come up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so... Yesterday I did a thing. It released over on YouTube today. I don't know if you watched any of it at all, but what it, I <laughs> what I did was it's like, well, this stuff up here, it's a lot of the same block over and over and over again. So what I'm doing is I'm releasing it as like kind of a podcast sort of deal. We're going to have a ton of space to play with on the walls. But almost like it's more of a podcast. It's meant to feel more like a podcast. In that... Yeah, we're going to need more spruce. But I think what I want to do... Is if this goes to the ceiling, that's just going to be a giant brown line. So I think I actually need to bring in some blacks. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling I'm feeling like we're going to have to go with some black colors. 
but we also can't make everything dark. Like if we put in a splash of color, like in some sort of really bright wool, like orange wool or something like that, it's that's gonna pop out too. So let's try this. Because I originally thought, hey, why don't we do, um. A whole bunch of... Okay, so I need to dump some of these. Put this. I'm going to throw that in there. The brown terracotta is not going to work. Uh, let's go with some of these. Then... I did put a crafting table down here because I don't want to have to go up to the next level every time we need to make um, like anything on the crafting table. So I did bring a crafting table down here, but we still got the other one up there to complete the look up there. Uh, so... Is all of me not prepping before stream for not do knowing that we we're gonna need this, but uh, oh, one of your squid brethren died. Oh. His loss is our game. Now, I wish there was like a flat black, like they have a lot of blacks. Oh, we should also incorporate some black stone in this, that'll probably also look really good. I think I'm going to do one stack of this. We're going to figure it all out. We're going to get some of the black stone. But I, I just feel like black, uh, especially since it's cracked. If there was a flat black, it would be amazing. Like, I don't think terracotta's a flat black. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this there's still texture in there something that's just plain black like the the wool is texturized yeah. go blackstone polished blackstone get rid of three of these Yeah, it, it would just open up builds so much more because nothing it feels like is actually truly black. And it's like, you gotta have that. You gotta have that. Alright, put the steak back into the offhand. And maybe I just don't know what odd what color that is yet, but it would be a nice change of pace. Let's see. Ancient Greek totally had concrete, right? I mean, they totally had concrete. And we're almost going to use this as a really dark gray. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Okay, see, but when you do pull back, it does. Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to need to make this like the Bastions. I wonder what this looks like. Mm hmm. There's a reason why a lot of creators are starting to say that Blackstone's their favorite. And I feel like I'm going to be one of those people. Because that does add the darkness that I want. Like, obviously, we're going to come through, and this will be part of the reason why we're building a gold farm, is so that we can get pretty much unlimited gold. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's where my brain went. So we do this, right? So we'll do this up here. 
and then I'll go get what gold I have. Um, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. No, you gotta follow me here. You gotta follow me here. You can't go go in with preconceived notions of, oh, that'll look stupid. I'm not telling you. I'm telling you. You gotta follow me. You gotta follow me. Um. So. You gotta follow me here, okay? 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 Do you trust me? Do you trust me? <laughs> do you trust me? I don't know if I do. I'm following. I'm following. <laughs> okay, where did that go? That's top drawer. Did I just say top drawer? I just said top drawer. What? What did I? Why? <laughs> following. Keeping a very close eye. This is going to be an even more expensive build. But, oh. Following. Following. <laughs> it ain't a flex. <laughs> All the way up the side. All the way up the side. That's what I'm thinking. Um. <laughs> Is it going to be spinny? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be spent. <laughs> see if we can improve on this anyway. Just, you know, to flex a little bit more. Um. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Like, not the fact that it's just like a straight up flex, which it is. But I think just from the standpoint of we'll build it up over here, kind of get what it's going to look like from the side, right? Um, the thing is, is, I think we're actually going to have to go mining for blackstone because I don't know how much of it I actually have. I think we have three stacks, and I tell you what, I've gone through a lot. I mean, a lot of bricks. A lot. A lot of bricks over the past few days. So, how much gold and blackstone the walls will take? Time will tell. Will it be expensive? Oh, you betcha. Totally didn't mean to fall there. Hey, I'm a redditor. Yeah, so we're working on the design for the gold, or the, not the gold farm, the mob farm for the walls. Because we need something that's a darker, <laughs> we need a darker color. We need something that kind of like gives that shadow effect. From the pillars, even though we're gonna have to light up everything around here, but we want something that's darker and richer. And we went with flex. We went with straight up flex. Um, this is part of the reason why. I, also, the Nether update was so good. It added blocks that were usable. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, so here's where my brain is tripping. Here's where it is tripping. Here's where my brain is tripping. I can't see the blackstone on top. Like, my brain, for whatever reason, is trained to only see up to a certain Y level, and I don't understand why. But I can't see the blackstone on top. I think we need to see the blackstone on top. And I don't know if I'm just wildly trying to justify doing this at this point, or if it'll actually look good. Like, I'm not that confident of a builder yet to be like, oh yeah, I'll just give it time and it'll eventually look good. Um, hmm. 
It's gonna feel like I'm flexing on the. It's gonna feel like I'm flexing on the bastards. I think that's the only way, only thing that's coming out of this. <laughs> um, you need your my gold farms better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it was just a I popped onto a stream when I got home. It was one of the Hermitcraft streams where all of them were on and streaming and all talking. They have this this really cool mod. This really cool mod. Um that so I don't know if you guys have watched like any Among Us streams or whatever, but they have this mod called Proximity Chat where like if as you get closer in it you can talk to the other crewmates, right? So they have the same mod for Minecraft on their server. Oh, that's a thought. That's a thought. But so essentially, that's a thought, that's a thought, that's a thought. Um, yeah, so they have proximity chat on their server. And they're just all going around, just talking, answering questions about each other because they haven't had this liberty of like just being able to like move over in Minecraft and talk to a certain group of people. It was all either in Discord or it was in typing chat where like, you know, this is really slow. So, but I'm not going to lie. I would, I would, I would be scared if somebody replied right now. <laughs> that was one of the things that they said. Um, that was said. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to put Spinny Magoo in. And every time somebody says it, I'm going to spin around and not mention it. And I just mentioned it. So it kind of ruined the ploy. Thanks for asking me about it. <laughs> it. It was just one of those things that was said. And my brain went, oh, that's what we're going to make the word tonight. <laughs> yes, it's slow. <laughs> it might have been my typing, but, you know. Or do we do that here? Ah, we do that here. Okay, okay. So, we want to be able to see out, right? So, we come here. We fill this in. Hey there, El Val. Geo6, how's it going? Um, but yeah, so we go like that. And right like that. But yeah, <laughs> it was just a word that, you know, it stuck in my head, and I had to go with it. <laughs> You're the Spanish guy? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? So. Let's go like that. We're essentially just building this up at this point. So it's going to change as we go up. Like, obviously, it's going to change as we go up. But what we're going to do is, so if we put in stairs there, that's not going to work. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Biggest thing I'm wondering. Oh, that's what we do. That's what we do. Then we go like this. Hmm, we don't have any sand, but we do have that, and I don't know why I didn't see that the first time. Uh, let's see. Let's rock it. And why am I not flying right away? My spacebar is going out. Oh no, I'm gonna need to buy a new keyboard as well. Um, 
We got to add a splash of Schwanky Kong in there, don't we? Like, like obviously the black is Schwanky Kong, but the black is it, that's a that's a common building thing. Black gets used on. Yes, I love it. I love it. I'm actually loving this right now. Like, I don't know if I like this design, but I like the the. I like the the thought of the windows and the the colors of the windows. So we're gonna need to fill that in. I kind of need more gold, and we got the concrete. I can put the concrete in right now. Um. got the concrete so we might as well put in the concrete this is gonna be an insane build um but yeah <laughs> all right al val it's all right um but yeah so we'll go up like that Let's see. Da, da, da. I don't know why, but I'm right now just like on the biggest building kick, and I just want to build, and it's like things are just coming out so well. It's like I totally should be building a gold farm before I do this design. Like, we should be getting stuff for a gold farm right now, but. Yeah, I want to just keep on building this up, right? <laughs> like, that's perfectly acceptable. Like, even though we don't have any of the resources we need for it, but... Shh. We don't need to think like that. How am I on sound tonight? I know I changed it up a bit yesterday. I'm just wondering, am I sounding louder, or am I too loud what 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 are you guys thinking because i did change up my sound a little bit i did make it a little bit louder i still noticed like it came off a little soft on all the <laughs> it's a lot better that's good to know it's also really nice to know that there can be an issue with the sound and some of you guys just don't say anything so <laughs> we're just polite it's good it's all good. But yeah. So, do it like this. Straight here is the glass window. And we are out of blackstone. Hmm. Where are we? Nope, we are. We are out of blackstone. Tartar sauce. <laughs> well, that is a positive thing. That is a positive thing for sure. It's like I told you as I started, it's just it's gonna be time, but I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna get better. Am I gonna be great ever? I don't know. I doubt it, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try my best to get better at it. I know I'm still struggling a little bit with the uh, commitment issues, but that is what it is. Oh, so exciting thing happened today. I know. It, probably one of your favorite things in the world when i talk about my book for you guys <laughs> um but so i'm starting to call around to these comic stores since we got two pages down or made and the first one of the first stores i reached out to said we love taking local artists and we do a consignment for um I think we're going to go like that and start the stairs here down. Like that. But they do it based on, like, go assignment. Yeah. So this is essentially how we're going to go. We'll probably steepen it up a bit, but at the top here I want to keep it shallow. So it's like you're going down and then boom, steep it out. But we are going to go down quite a bit. We're probably going to go down to, I want to say here just so that we can have that roof space above our head but so essentially once i get my book i'll be able to put it on shelves 
because consignment is I don't know if you have like any of those it's like a pawn shop but it's not a pawn shop so what it is is and I know that this is like something that happens a lot they have a lot of clothing stores like this or their consignment shops they may essentially they'll stock your your thing and sell it to their customers they'll have their own markup plus whatever the price is so they'll take their markup and give you the rest of the money so i got in contact today with them and that's not i don't think that's necessarily normal i think it is pretty close to how they'll do like smaller book writers like local artists who are just trying to start because it's like okay from our end we can't buy a thousand books and expect to sell them but we're going to leave the risk with you where like you buy the books and then as we need them you can come in and stock them as you see fit so that's exciting <laughs> i know my book is going to be put on shelves um and also in the area that I live, so I, I'm super stoked about it. I know the stream sometimes when I start talking about the book can take a hit, but it's just it's so exciting from my standpoint, like to be able to be reach out to just like a company and they go, yeah, totally, we we totally want to be a part of it. And I get it's like, well, they're really not taking much of a risk, but they're still taking a risk in that they're let they're letting out uh floor space for something that might not work i know <laughs> i'm excited about it it's like the book is still a long ways off but at the same time it's gonna be incredible i'm i'm so happy i'm so excited and yeah so and i've reached out to two other stores haven't heard back from yet but i don't think those stores are necessarily as like the one store is they're like they're a um, they're a GameStop, but they're a local GameStop store. Like they're not actually GameStop, but their business platform very much so. At least from when I was there, was along those lines. They would buy and resell old stuff. If like you had old video games, you'd bring them there. So, but yeah, it's like. <laughs> Wait, you actually want to stock what I, I, I have? <laughs> there is a bit of the, oh my gosh, is this actually going to be a thing? Like, because for a company to be... Consignment is like... It, it's a really easy business model for like the standpoint of clothes. People are always looking for cheaper clothes. So if you wear an outfit once and then like I don't really want it anymore... It didn't fit well on me. You go to a consignment shop and you give it to them and they stock it and it gets resold relatively quickly. So what about book? Like, And I get it. It's like it's not necessarily like I might be big making a bigger deal out of it than it actually is. But at the same time, for me, it is a big deal. Like, just being able to have it where people can feel it first, where they can get an idea of what the book is first, it's going to help with the book. <laughs> I, I'm really excited about it, so. Like, I'm probably a little too excited at the same time, but I, I am genuinely like, yes, 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 come on. <laughs> but yeah, so, I'm excited. <laughs> That's just a little bit of what's going on in my life right now. I know it's like, oh, he's talking about the book again. Really? We don't want to hear about this stuff. Come on, get back to the Minecraft. But yeah, that's just too exciting not to share. Like, I was so nervous. Like, I could go to a, any bookstore and be like, hey, I got this book that I want to sell. Do you want it? And they go, uh, no. Like, that was the biggest thing. Like, going, like, if somebody. Or, are they going to be like, uh, no. But the business model is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I really am. 
but we got to go get more blackstone because that was three stacks of blackstone and we did that much of it so and that's with breaking it up oh that's gonna look so good all the way up <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for that um we're gonna get some blackstone we're also going to get uh, do we have any empty shulker boxes hmm. where are my shulker boxes some with sand, there's some with gravel. Okay. So we're going to empty out a couple of the sand ones. And we're going to basically try to fill up the shulker boxes with um, we're basically going to try to fill up the shulker boxes. One of them with Blackstone and the other one with magma cubes. Now the reason why we want to do that is because we this is going to be a very gold dependent build. So it's Wednesday, hoping. I know my Wednesday streams have gotten pushed back a lot recently. Hopefully Wednesday, possibly by two or Thursday. We are going to start working on a gold farm. Now, this is going to look very similar to... And the reason why we're starting work on the gold farm is because of these guys over here. We got three of them. Yeah, we got three. But these guys over here are the key to the gold farm because they produce these eggs. I'm actually going to come and... Take a couple of those. You guys don't mind, right? But basically, we want the rest of those eggs to hatch, and then when they're fully grown, we're going to be able to get a ton of eggs, which is going to help the gold farm because zombie piglins egg grow, I think is the word you want, the word to say for that. It's a good thing I went back for that. Um, but the egg grow towards turtle eggs. Like, for another reason for you to attack them and hate them. Um... But the egg grow towards it, so we're going to use that to our advantage to build our zombie piglin farm. Where all of a sudden, we should maybe have some sort of gold on us. Yeah, we'll be fine. No, we won't. No, we won't. We, we have been to the nether before, and we have died a lot of times in the nether. We will not be fine. Um, But with them egg growing towards it... Valuables. I see no such thing as a gold helmet. Where is my safety helmet? But we're going to use that to our advantage and essentially just aggro a bunch of piglins at us. Or at the turtle eggs, they'll chase them. We'll use a trapdoor trick, and they will fall into the nether. <laughs> or they'll fall into a, a trap. It will be a... We'll keep it easy and make it a... Well, it has to be a fall damage trap. Similar to our mob farm, whereas a mob farm would... They would actually build up really close underneath the mob farm and then have water push it into the magma or into magma cubes there but we need magma cubes because um, zombie plaguelands won't respawn on him but they don't get hurt by him and that's an issue so we'll go down here oh no this is already off to a great start run away Um, we're going to fly over here and get out of that biome, come over to this biome where we have to fight skeletons, but hey, that's a lot less terrifying than apocalypse. Um, but yeah.
that's just not. That's just not. Okay, we're apparently gonna just let that be. Um, so there's some magma cues, so we're gonna grab those first. Now these will hurt if you step on them, so we're gonna try to avoid that. They are after all called after all called magma cubes for a reason. Be very careful. They do burn. And occasionally they have gravel over top of them. But they could also have lava over top of them. Which is even worse. Alright. They do break relatively easily, so it's a plus. Oh, I need blacksmith. I'm not going to lie, whenever you drop in the nether and you don't expect to drop, your heart does drop a little bit. And my heart dropped a lot of it. Save. And this stuff is relatively easy to collect, like it doesn't take that much to collect it, but at the same time it's just, there is a bit of the time factor to it. Like, we found a pretty good vein of it that's relatively safe. So, that's exciting. Hey, there it is. There's lava. Ooh, spooky lava. Um, but yeah. So. <laughs> Ooh. You think you're so scary, Gravel? I'll show you scary. Um, also, whenever you break into the the opening like that, <laughs> it just kind of makes your heart go <sighs> a little bit too. Because it's like you don't expect to see light. Then there's suddenly light, and you go, there's only one thing that causes light here. That's lava. Now I cannot stand up right now, otherwise it's going to be a bad day for Mr. Camper. <laughs> Good thing I'm still not standing. Come on, little pinky, you can do it. I believe in you. Don't cramp up. I'm putting way more pressure than I need to on my pinky right now, and I don't know why. Uh, like, really, why would I put that much pressure on my pinky? We get some nether rack in here so we can switch across. Wonderful. Yeah, oh, actually, we'll just go down over here. We do need the blackstone after all, so. It's good. We can die and it won't be saved. Let's see. The thing is, is I wish that this would, collecting of blackstone would go faster. But it's just like my normal. Boss Island. Goodbye, buddy. But yeah, the amount of magma cubes that we have, or magma blocks, I should be saying, isn't going to be enough for how big of a platform that we're going to make. 
because it is what we are going to do is essentially just make a giant platform for zombie piglins to spawn in. So, there's that. Did I just not pick that? Why did I not pick these up? Why did I not pick those up? Anyways. Mm. Anyway, so now we need to find Blackstone. Because we do have a lot. We should be able to start with this. We should be able to build up a pretty big platform to get it looking well, looking good. So, there's that. Now, how to get out of here without dying? That's the question, and that's the goal. Now we need Blackstone. <laughs> all right, that's a, that's all right, um, Emeritida. Sebastian, I only have quite a bit of gold, but do I even chance it? I don't chance it. I don't chance it. Like I get, I like I, I've said before, it's like it's all right if you gotta leave. So I'll be here, just trying to live my best life, you know. <laughs> hmm. If you could not, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> I am the gas buster. I totally lied. I'm not a gas buster. I wish I could. Gas busters are so cool. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Your favorite fruit juice, like orange or apple. Um. Um. I would say it's a berry blend. So, like, V8 has this flavor called berry blend. And out of any fruit juice, if I had to pick one, it would be that one. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, that's a way to get that achievement. Um, <laughs> oh, what? Um, yeah, I would say berry blend. <laughs> I know. I totally did that on accident. I'm not going to try to claim that I did that on purpose. Um, that was totally on accident. <laughs> but it was very cool. <laughs> we got to make a better way down to our, our, our mind. Um, but yes, that was extremely cool. I am surprised that I was able to do that. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Someone say sicko mode. <laughs> that was bad of me. <laughs> that was bad of me. Um, Blackstone. Yes, I knew there was a ton in here. Yes. Yay. The wonderful, wonderful Blackstone. <laughs> <laughs> well you know I wanted to answer the question but no I, if it was like a bog standard juice I would say it's probably a dark horse of grape juice I don't know why but there's something about grape juice that's good and I guess that kind of goes to the berry blend like I like that berry flavor like yeah I'm I'm a sour person, like I like the sour taste, but there are people that drink orange juice with pulp in it. Like, why? And it's like, because of those people, I can't say orange juice. Like, they make orange juice with pulp, and it's like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. 
Like, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Like it would be orange juice, but there's that pulp community, and it's like they they overthrow everybody at the get at the hotel. So it's like I gotta go with grape juice. Like apple juice is good, don't get me wrong, but grape juice is like the perfect blend of all of it. But I hate grapes. Out of all those fruits, I'd probably like. Is lemonade technically an app uh, fruit juice? Uh, hold on, it might not be grape juice, but would you consider lemonade a fruit juice? Like this is very important. This is very very important. Yeah, it, it is lemons, but it's not like orange juice or. Well, here's why I'm like, is it really a fruit juice? Because grape juice you get by squeezing get <laughs> group grape juice you get by squeezing grapes. That was almost very terrible what I said, what I about said. You get oranges by squeezing oranges. You get apple juice by oranges by squeezing oranges. Uh, you get orange juice by squeezing orange juice and apple juice by squeezing apple juice. But lemon juice is a thing. Lemonade is adding lemon juice to water. So is it really a juice? I know. Like, it's like I want to say then lemonade, but is it really a juice? But, like, I full blown want to say lemonade, but I also, in the, the validity of the question, Oh my gosh, this is what can this is what the next episode of hindsight's gonna be. Just me ranting about is lemonade a juice. Like I get I get the argument for that it is a juice, but it's also probably just a mixed drink because it you're combining two liquids. Whereas the orange juice and apple juice, it's you can have that just straight from an orange. Our good friend Google. But even then, it's like somebody will probably be like, oh, yeah, it's considered technically a juice. Why is it considered technically a juice? Well, because the FDA approved it that way. But is it? It's a mixed drink. Like, you, <laughs> you drink straight lemon juice, you're going to pucker. You pucker a little bit with lemonade, but... Unless if it's all been a lie to me. Unless if what they're doing is just sprinkling in lemon powder. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is going to be the next tick. What? <laughs> We're going mining for Blackstone and coming up with Netherite. Um. You remember that first stream when we went down into the mines and went about five feet in and found diamonds? That was kind of at that level. <laughs> um, what the heck are we doing? We got the first one. All right, I'll take it. Guess you mine out the blackstone all the time, then, right? There was a while there. Whenever I would clear out dirt. Like, in my mind, like, I would hit a dirt patch and just clear it out. I would always find diamonds, so I all made up this rule, like, every time you find dirt, you gotta clear up diamonds. And it's like, no, no, no. No. <laughs> it's not something that needs to be a rule. Uh, I'll take that, then go like that. Have I missed any blackstone? No, I haven't. I keep on like, continuing. Hi. If you could not, that'd be fantastic. Um.
she's a dark horse. Like, like I've said before, I'm not fully caught up on it. Like, there's things about her that I want to like, but at the same time, there's a lot of it that I don't really like. Like, there's so much where it's like, is this really, like, it's weird. She's just weird. She's one of those weird characters where, like, I want to like her, but I can't. For whatever reason, my gut is saying don't. And I know that just sounds weird, but it's like, that that's just what my gut tells me. And it's like, um, what? Like, so in the seasons before, there was just something that seemed off. Like, when they had the whole coup and everything, there was just something about it that seemed off. She seemed like, yeah, she was, like, a little overwhelmed, but at the same time, there was something about her that was just, it was weird. And I know, based on what I've watched, that she's probably going to be taking up a much larger role in the next couple of episodes. Because that's what I've watched up to. And then I was like, okay, i got to take a step back. Just got to think about what just happened. Uh, 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 good thing for Arwen. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And there's a bit of me that's sitting there going, I feel like she might be in on it. I feel like she might be in on it. I mean, she It's just a weird character, man, you know? And I'm not fully up on the show. I know I'm back two episodes behind. Two or three episodes behind. But... At the same time, it's just, what? <laughs> like, I love the thought of Zeke and Aaron working together. Like, for whatever reason, whenever you saw Zeke at the beginning, it was like, oh, really? He has to be a bad guy? But now it's kind of like, oh, is he actually a good guy? Oh, is this about to be really fun? But yeah, it I don't know about Ymir. Or Historia. Oh, God. You were asking about the relationship. Um. Oh, God. What? Okay. I don't know why. I just thought Historia. <laughs> um. There was a part of me that was okay with it. Like, it is a bit weird. Because technically, your mirror was. I don't know why my brain. Like, I knew. Like, yeah, I was. I was on fire. Um, I knew you were. T I, I don't know why my brain was like that. Um. Your mirror, I actually liked. It's Historia that I was like. Oh. But I, I thought there was a lot like with your mirror. I don't know where my brain went with that, but why I went, oh, yeah, you're asking about Historia and the possible queen connection and all that, and it's like, oh, no, no. Um, I liked Ymir. I did. Like, as a character, I thought she was, she was a different flavor than everybody else. So everybody else, even Aaron at the beginning, now Aaron has kind of taken up this role of everybody else was very much so in high hopes. They banded together, and then you had Ymir, who was on the outside looking in. And it's honestly what I kind of modeled Cole after. <laughs> it's like what I kind of modeled Cole after, where she has that um, look to her where, like, she, you could tell that there really wasn't anything she cared about. But then, at the same time, when she was always with somebody when they needed help, you kind of got that sense of, they're doing that on purpose. Like, 
and like that's what I mean when I'm modeling Cole off her a bit is Cole is very much so that I really don't care about anybody else here. I'm only here for my own reasons, like Ymir was. Like, she was there to look after Historia. She really didn't care about the scouts or anything like that. She was there for her own reasons. Hello. So I really liked Ymir. I thought the relationship was a good one, but at the same time, it felt too much like an unnecessary protector. I don't, I don't know if that's the way to put it, but... <laughs> all right, Amaretta. It's all right. It's all good. Just going to go on with that, but yeah, because that's an interesting thought to me. It's a character that you just kind of forget about, where it's like, yeah, once she's gone, she's gone, so... All right, Emirate, I'll see you next stream. Yeah, we'll be back hopefully Wednesday night. I hope I can stick to that schedule. So, see you next stream. It's all good. But yeah, it's it's an interesting thought to think about the relationship between Ymir and um, Historia, where they wanted to be each other. It almost felt like. Like, I know based off a of backstory, Ymir was playing this role of this ancient queen to a bunch of underground Eldians. And, like, the reincarnate of her, and then she got, like, thrown away because they said, well, they essentially didn't want to take the blame. And that's a lot of wonderful. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Saw that coming. Um, but yeah. I, I would have loved to, like, just have more backstory on your mirror. Why are you attacking me suddenly? Can you not see my helmet is this? Why did you attack me? I must ask. Why did you attack me? Anyways, so I'll just kind of up here. Collect this black stone. But no, that's really kind of like, for whatever reason, I like those characters where they're, they seem disinterested. But in reality, they care very deeply about just one aspect of what's going on. Like, they're really there just for one reason. It's like, well, I got family in this. Well, okay. Like, they're always the characters where you, the, everybody starts going, why are you here? And then it, they, they are forced to essentially to tell everybody... Well, actually, I do care, but all of you just assume I don't. And it's like, well, fair enough. I just, I love those characters because they're always the ones where everybody's second guessing. Everybody's wondering, why are you like this? Why are you here? And they tend to be the characters that crack the most wisecracks. That's a cracking question. Um, so there is that aspect of it where it's like that's also a cool feature of them. Where they're always the ones with the sarcastic comment and they, they can liven up a show because of their attitude towards most everything going on around them. Like, there's... You can have a ton of dramatic backstory characters. But the moment you introduce somebody who just seems disinterested in everything, is only there for themselves, or appears to only be there for themselves, and just really like doesn't fit the normal mold of the people around them, 
it does make it more interesting. I think Bakugo is another character that's like that, where it's like, why? Where it's easy for people to question their motives. Like Bakugo got kidnapped because the League of Villains thought, well, he could become a villain. But that's just his personality coming out. He's so dedicated on his goal that he views failure as a setback. And he views failure as failure. Like, he doesn't want to fail. He's afraid to fail because he's looking up to this idol that never fails. So he always needs to be that person that's always ready for a fight no matter what. Yeah. I think Bakugo's really cool. I obviously love Midoriya. I love Deku, but... At the same time, Bakugo's a pretty awesome character, and he really does help balance out the show. He does balance out the anime really well. And again, it's the same reason. He's a character that you wonder what their motives really are, but they remind you ever so often, like Ymir does, about what their motives are. Like, they are those very... And I wouldn't say Bakugo is a laid-back character, because he's not. But he is a character that you question their motives. Like, why does he want to become so strong? Is it really to become the number one hero? And it's like, in the moment when they were questioning that in the anime, all of a sudden, well, how did I bloody do that? They go through and they actually answer that question as it pops up in the anime. When everybody's going, no, he's not going to be, or everybody's going, is he going to turn into a villain? You have another Dark Horse character who's very, you question their motives a lot, and Aizawa go, they misread him. Because Aizawa, strangely enough, can read students like Bakugo. Because that was Aizawa. Aizawa, you go, how did this guy become a pro hero? Why is this dude a pro hero? And then you see why. <laughs> he answers that question through his fighting. How he goes from this very whimsical, non-caring character... So when he's fighting for his students, he's going all out. He's very intense. He's very attentive. And in reality, his laid back and lazy demeanor might just be a drawback of his quirk where he's trying to enhance his ability, like length of time he can use his quirk. That was fun. By making sure that his eyes are always rested. And it's like, that is like one of the weirdest things, but it's like, that totally makes sense. Like, how do you sleep all the time so I can keep my eyes wide awake for longer periods of time? <laughs> That's just one of those things where it's like, um, okay. Okay. But yeah, I guess that's what it is. It's like, a good TV show, a good movie, whatever it may be, has that Dark Horse character. You have that Captain America where everybody goes, what are you really? What are your motives? Not Captain America. Iron Man. Where you go, are your motives really to help people? Or are you just trying to do this for some sort of gain? And it's like, I'm, just, I'm a superhero, dude. I am a superhero. I fight and put my life on the line. Like, how could you question my motives more? Still, it does happen. In the first Avengers, it happens. Where he go where he, he is questioned upright about what his motives are and how dedicated he truly is. And obviously we all got an answer to how dedicated he was. He that's his knack is he proves it time and time again that he does really care by always doing the one thing that everybody thinks he never does. Which is lay down your life. And if you look at the Avengers movies. That happens a lot. <laughs> it's the turbine in the. On the helicarrier. It's taking the nuke through the wormhole. 
it's obviously the snap, but then also the dropping the city when Ultron was lifting uh, Sokovia. There was a chance that he didn't make it out of there either. Just everything. It's like there, there was always a chance where he didn't make it out. And even though he's this character, everybody questions, well, are you really committed? The reason why they're questioning him is because he always finds a way out. And it's like, how committed can you really be if you're able to find a way out of it? Like, I know it's an old point that Cap really never br brings up later on. Um, does he? No, I don't think he does. And there's another one. Maybe we need to start mining out the black stone, maybe? Maybe we need to start mining out the black stone. I, I, I don't know why, I'm just getting that feeling. We found three netherite while mining for black stone. Um, but yeah. Those dark horse characters where you constantly go, what's their motives, are the ones that will always... Where if it's written well will prove to you why they're in the position that they are. Like, I get it if... You can have those Dark Horse characters that'll wind up proving you wrong eventually. Or you can have those Dark Horse characters that wind up proving that they aren't that. And I think that's a real wasted opportunity whenever you have a character like that when you go, okay, we don't want to expound on what they are. We want to keep them in this lane. And it's like you need that for a Dark Horse character where you all of a sudden show their soft side, all of a sudden show their nice side. get up away from these guys. I just got a bad feeling about them. Where all of a sudden you look at them and you go, maybe they're not as bad as I thought. Like without that, it just, it creates a bland character. Because you can have somebody always cracking jokes, but you need to prove who they are. You just can't have it always be these wise remarks all the time. You need to have that moment where they prove to you that they do care in some form or way. Like, if you don't have that, you just got a flat character. Let's see, I fly over here. And should be able to right here yes it is it is right here but that's just my viewpoint on it i think that's enough blackstone for now i'm gonna get some more of that wall put in so that we can get an idea of what it's gonna look like all the way across because i got a feeling it's gonna look really good with that blackstone all the way across and like i said it's we're working with a flat surface so we're gonna need to have a lot of change in it. Where all of a sudden we're going to need to have I'm putting those in there just because it's another um, we're going to need to have a lot of breakup points where we have that gold, black, concrete, all that mixed in there. Because otherwise, it will be flat. There is no way around it. It's going to be flat. So, we'll do that. Oh, why, did, why did I make that so dangerous? Why? Why did I make that so dangerous? Um, but yeah. Yeah, 
all good? We all good? Yeah, we all good. We're all good. We're all good. This way. Always got to remember <laughs> which way you got to go. Let's see if we have any blackstone down here by off chain. No, we really don't have anything down here either, do we? Um, Blackstone. Okay, we will take that. All right, apparently that makes you go up the stairs faster. I'm liking that already. That, that looked good. This is going to look good. I am excited for it. Oh, so excited. Oh, so excited. Let's go. Away we go. Huh. We should really go deposit something so that make that way we actually can go pick up that shulker box. Hmm. That goes in there, that goes in there, goes in there, that goes here. This, oh, there's the gold helmet. <laughs> Hi, I can't read it. it. It's all good. It's all good. We're just here chilling, so. If you're busy, it's all right, all right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But yeah, got to make sure you get your entry, right? <laughs> It's all good. Make sure you double up on it. There is a way to double up on it. So, go with the wall. I think it just changed. Could you not? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> oh, I can't read. You do make me smile sometimes. <laughs> and when I say sometimes, quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, so we go like this. But yeah. I'm excited. Like, so I know. Like, the book is exciting, right? But even still, like, just with Twitch in general, like, streaming on Twitch, it's like, I'm actually really starting to enjoy it. And it's exciting. It is. Like, I'm sitting here going, ah, oh, you know what would be great? If I had, like, another creator, another smaller creator that I could invite onto this world and we could start building stuff together. And it's like, I, I, I got it. I want to find somebody to almost like just start up doing like streams together where you know what I mean? Because I find <laughs> it is bad of me to say this, but like I find I'm at my best when I can riff off of other people. Like, I might not be the conversation starter, but I can be somebody who can keep a conversation going. It's just having that starting point where it's like, okay, here's what we're going on with. Here's what we're talking about. That It's like, yeah, I really got to... I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Gonna have to find somebody who wants to, but it'll be all good. It'll be all good. So now we're gonna come in and we're gonna cut in the windows. What we're gonna do is go do 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 and that'll save us on some of the blackstone. So there's that. 
Yeah. I think I, there is a part of me that wants to keep this world to a creator level. So it's people who stream level. But I do want to take this world, take a world download. Like, I want to be able to have another creator. I want to see you guys be able to watch this as it grows and gets bigger. And then whenever we decide to, or whenever I decide to wipe the server, we can get the world download of it. And you can have all of these builds. You can look at them. You can get up close, personal, and do what you want to them. Just because I think that would be such a cool... I think that is really cool. Because it is like, okay, here, take this suggestion. Like, I'm not knocking, like, having followers and subs and all that. But, like, on the server that I'm on, I want to have something that's real. I'm going to say this the wrong way. I know I am. <sighs> How do I, I got to say this the right way. I want to have the opportunity for the channel to see the growth. And I want to be able to I want to have multiple servers so it's like okay, we can go here and we can almost like protect some of the builds that might be on the bit more fragile side. I'm I'm just messing this up. I'm just messing it up. I do want to play with you guys. It's like that's that I, that is something I want to do because I think there is a lot of like this thought process in some of the things where it's like it's just hard to find people to play with at times. It's like if you're not necessarily the most social person in the world, finding somebody to play with is extremely hard. It is like. That's me. That's why I have the server, and it's like nobody plays on it. Why? Because, well, I want to invite people, but there's that part of me that doesn't want to invite people. There's that part of me that's like, if they come, they're going to mess stuff up. If they come, this is going to be ruined. If they come, I won't be able to do this or that. And it's like, that's the part of me that I got to fight. Like, so there's one where it's like I want to have a server that is creator driven, but I also want to have a server that's follower driven. So what I mean by that is like so this world we could download the world download right now. Start up a follower server, have the builds as they are right now in it and let the followers do what they want with the builds, the ideas that we've talked about. And like I just pop in and help and we just work together sometimes. And then I also want to have a creator world where there can be a lot more of these set in place storylines because we are in that creator field where we want to make good content. We want to have these storylines with that on their own, like in a normal thing and our normal server might not necessarily play out. Like, they can play out, and they can be fun, but at the same time, it's like it has a little bit more to it as creators, where it allows for the viewers to get into the videos, where it allows for all of that, and, yeah. I'm probably just digging myself a hole, but at the same time, it's like... I want to explain the thoughts that I'm having and I want to be clear and upfront with everything that goes through my head where it's like I want to have a world where I play with my followers and like that is something I want it's just my head blocks it like I, I want to do that it's like it's just my brain is going, okay, but what about this? What about that? What about that? Because there is that thought of what happens if somebody gets in and they're greedy. Like, I was seriously considering doing, I don't know who was all here for this stream, but we talked about, well, what if we did a YouTube series where we reviewed 
lower like small creators and the thing of the review was we always gave them great reviews we always talked up about them we always highlighted their best qualities and we we essentially just built them up right what if we did that like what if we built the channel doing that? And it's like, yeah, well, you're using other people's content. Well, we're also putting their links in the bio. We're saying you need to go check these people out. They're going to be really cool. And they're going to get a shout out. Like, And actually, that could boost them greatly. Far greater than what they would if they didn't have it. Like how Mr. Beast actually, instead of doing money giveaways, will look at We'll do, okay, I got these four very small YouTubers. They all have under a 1,000 subs. Whoever went or whoever takes their hand off of like a box last will get a shout-out in my video. And I'll be like, yeah, go subscribe to them. And I know that one video for sure, the dude jumped 100,000 followers or subscribers. So what if there was a channel that was that? Where it was, go follow this Twitch streamer because of this reason, this reason, this reason, this reason. We got to have a chat with them. We talked with them. We were in their chat. We were donating, seeing the reaction to this stuff. And they are genuinely good. It's like... the, The point I was trying to make with this is... I was looking into one of those small people. And what they were doing was... That is weird. Every time somebody would join their chat, they would go, oh, can I join? And then the person was like, oh, yeah, just put your Minecraft username in the chat and I'll add you and you can join that way. And it was giving me such pain and anxiety. And it's like, I know it shouldn't because it's like, it's not mine. It's not my chat. But every time somebody would join, I was like, okay. Is this going to be the person that just goes running around? And then one of the people was like, what would you do if I started, like, killing your dogs? And it's like, this is a younger person. This is a younger streamer. You can tell that by their voice. And I was sitting there going, oh, please, really, dude? Really, you're going to start being like this? And it just, it bugged me. So it's like, I want to find a way where we can make sure whoever comes on the server is a great person. And I don't doubt my viewers are right now like i don't doubt that it's just (laughs) it's my brain is going but what if what if it's like it's just going to take time getting over that and that's why i'm sitting here going i had this other server we could easily just take a world download and send it there and we don't need to worry about this server we can get i can start talking with other streamers and we can start doing more stuff on this one with other content creators to build up a world where it is kind of like the Hermitcraft server in a way where there is an economy, there is storylines because I just think that would be fun. I think that would be great for you guys. I think that would be great for us. But yeah. It's like I just... I'm not trying to be like, oh, I think all of you are great because it's like, I don't think that I think all of you are great people. It's just I want to make sure that the people here are good people and have good intentions. I don't know why I went. Got a bunch of stuff to make orange dye. I have so much orange dye already. (laughs) But yeah, so that's where I'm at. I want to open up a server soon for the followers. I think that'll be really awesome. I think that'll be a great way to build the community. I just don't think it's going to be this server. I think there's going to be some more prerequisites that will need to be hit in order to join this server. But I do plan on having a server for followers. And it will be soon. Hmm. I need to go get the blackstone again. What was I doing? 
Oh, I was mixing the glass pans. Yeah, we're gonna go put more black stone in. Why am I not flying? Hey Barry XD, thank you so much for the follow. It really does mean a lot. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> hey there, Barry XD. How's your night going tonight? Oh, yep, that's that is a slab. Got to remember that. Um, I am a PC player. Yeah, been working on this one for a while, so just about every stream. So, but yeah, I I am primarily a PC player. I used to be console, but controls on the PC are just so much nicer. And this is Java edition. So. Yeah, we <laughs> we are going a bit overboard on our first build, so. <laughs> Not our first build, but Jeez. That is pretty quick, I would say. <laughs> I, I, I'm more of a type of player that will take my time. Like, we do have full netherite. But that wasn't, like, five days in by no means. Because we took our time. We made it all well. Let's see if I can get this block. Nope. Not that. That. Let's just go down another block. That should help. Yep, there we go. Uh, nope. <laughs> um... Yeah, please don't post any links in the chat. That is a rule. You will get put in timeout. Yeah, we this this building is going to encompass our mob farm. So we are well up on everything. We are well up on all our gunpowder. We got a sugar cane farm that is always stocked. We also have our iron farm encased in that one, so we don't have to worry about iron. Over there, way over yonder, is our villager farm, or not our villager farm, um, trading hall, and then also on the other side is a super smelter, so I gotta get back up there, but yeah, this is gonna be like our main base. We'll have our storage area back here. We just gotta get to it. Super smelter, and in there is our villager trading hall, so. A lot, a lot, a lot of Greek influence on the build, so. <laughs> I will openly admit there's a lot of Greek and Roman influence. This mob farm, we are actually basing off of the Temple of Art Artemis, I want to say. Or Themia. I think it's Themia. I want to say it's a Themia. But yeah, that's what this build is being modeled after. This was a very obscure Tower of Winds, which is just a very small tower on the coast in Greek. But yeah, so it's all very Greek themed. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's <laughs> the the logo was just me um, messing around on Canva for. I, I've had some experience with it, but it was just really mainly messing around on that, so. <laughs> but thank you. And yeah, Streamlabs obviously handles the rest. <laughs> but yeah, so.
Yeah, we don't tolerate talk like that here. No, so. Mm. Cool, just totally took me out of it. Um. That's not funny. Never will be. And I don't really, my point of view is I don't care if your brother typed it in. The fact that either of you would think it would be funny is wrong. Because I do sound very white. And I am very white. But at the same time, that will never be funny. Anything along those lines will never be funny. It's not trolling. It's being a bad person. One more on that. Gunner, stop. Give me a little bit. Gunner. Yeah, so I'm out of it.
again, I'm going to be openly honest and transparent. There is just for anybody to want to say something like that, to be a troll, it angers me. And right now, I am very much so holding myself back. The reason I'm not talking is because this is how I always respond. When I get angry. And that's the only way I can put how I feel right now. Because even though I am very white. My father comes from Germany. My mother comes from Holland. My uncle on my father's side. Is Puerto Rican and South Korean. And looks and has a black skin complexion. I'm not making that up. He had the fro back in college. That is absolutely in no way tolerated. In no way is that tolerated. And now I don't know if I will be able to put this up anyways on YouTube the day after if it is in the chat. And here is my standpoint on it. I have a character that I will be introducing eventually who is whose father is black we have a situation where somebody uses the hard term and I will not put that in my book the furthest I will go is implying But at the same time, the person that uses that term will be being sucker punched of all sucker punches by an army vet. Understand, I do not want to be like this right now. It truly angers me that anybody would come in. It doesn't matter if it was your brother And think that is okay.
anyways. Okay. So I'm not in the headspace anymore to do this, so. right after I talked about how much I love streaming. How awesome it has been so far. Right after it. This is a community that will always be positivity first. This will be a community that always extends out its arms in a hug before it raises a fist. That is what I want for my community. That is what my community is going to be. Gorilla is not my favorite animal because it's fierce. The gorilla is my favorite animal because it's a gentle giant. It doesn't seek out violence, but the moment it feels like its troop is being threatened, it will turn to violence. protect its troop. And do I think I'm overreacting? Not at all. I don't. All I have to say is if you're still listening, you have the chance to turn it around. If proven otherwise, you will be gone from the troop. gone. Because I am Schwanky Kong, and I will make sure that my troop remains a safe place for everybody. With that, I think that's the stream. Thank you for taking me out of the stream.